Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create puzzle pieces in PowerPoint. The puzzle pieces you will learn to create look like this. Aren't they beautiful? Once you learn how to create the 2D version, you can always apply the 3D variation and create some interesting templates. So, first let us learn how to create the 2D version of puzzle pieces in PowerPoint from scratch. For this, let me go to a new slide and if you see, if you observe closely, the puzzle pieces have three components. One is the central shape which happens to be a square and there is a connector point that juts into the next piece and there is a gap. Now I have grouped this so let me ungroup it so that you can clearly see how a piece looks. So there is a piece that juts into another one which is a connector piece and there is a gap into which the next piece fits in. So that is how we have our puzzle pieces created. So let us go to a new slide and create those three components. The first step is to go to rectangles and pick this basic rectangle piece and while holding the shift tab draw a rectangle which makes it a square because shift when you press shift the shape is proportional in all directions so that is how you create a square while holding the shift tab now we have the central shape ready now we need to uh, create the connector pieces for which let me go to the basic shapes and pick up this one called as the oval tool once again hold the shift tab and while holding the shift tab draw an oval which forms a circle. The next step is to draw a small little stub underneath the circle. So let him, let me go to rectangles once again and draw a rectangle shape right under this. Now I need to make sure that this stub and the circle are properly aligned. So let me select both the shapes, go to arrange, align and align center. Now that we have done this, let us merge these two together. So format, merge shapes and go to union. And there we are. We are able to create this connector piece. I want two of these pieces. So select that piece and press Ctrl D which makes a duplicate of that particular object. Now I am going to keep one of these pieces on the top edge of the square. Another piece I am going to rotate. So let me do it from uh, the Arrange tab. So Arrange, Rotate and Rotate left 90 degrees and I'm going to keep this one touching the inside edge of the square. Now I need to make sure that they are all properly aligned otherwise you will not be able to get all four pieces fit in properly. So let me make sure that they are align aligned properly. So I'm going to select the square first and while holding the shift tab I'm going to select the top connector piece. Now let me go to arrange, align and align center. As you can see here this piece just about touches the top edge. It's very important for us to do that. The next one is to align these two pieces properly. So select the circle, select the square first, hold the shift tab and then connect and then click on the connector piece and arrange, align and align middle. So there we are, they are properly aligned. The next step is to merge this shape and this shape. So I'm going to select this one and this one, go to format, merge shapes and union shape. Now from this I'm going to remove this piece. So select this shape which is the shape that you want to retain. Hold the shift tab and then press this shape which is the shape you want to remove and go to merge shapes and press subtract. So there we are. Now we have got one piece of the puzzle ready. So keep this in one corner. Now make a copy of this by holding the control tab and you have a copy made. Now I'm going to rotate this. So the way I'm going to do it is home, arrange, align and sorry rotate and rotate right 90 degrees. There we are. Now I'm going to keep this here. 
The next one, I want to create a duplicate of this one. So control D while selecting that one. Now this I want to rotate once again, arrange, rotate and rotate right 90 degrees and I keep it here. See how they are all perfectly aligned because we have made sure that these pieces are aligned properly. Now select this, control D and this one, arrange, rotate and rotate right 90 degrees and fit this in and there we are, we have the four pieces of the puzzle diagram ready. Of course, you can make sure that they are all colored differently. You can have white outline to make sure that these outlines are visible clearly. Shape and then we have, so let us take this one and white outline and maybe for this let us have a red one and white outline and for this maybe a tan color and a white outline. And just to make sure that they are all aligned properly, select this one and this one and make sure that they are aligned on top. This one and this one align to the right. And this one and this one align to bottom. This one and this one align to left. And there we are, we can be 100% sure that they are all aligned properly. And once it is done, Control G to group them. And if you want to apply 3D version, format shape go to 3D rotation and of course you can choose any of the 3D rotations here so maybe something like this is a good enough thing you can always add some depth and add some bevel and, and do the way that you want to make sure that your diagram fits your requirement so that is how you create puzzle pieces in PowerPoint let me show you some variations of these puzzle pieces taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs, volume 1 and 2. The first example is this one, which shows the four quadrants and you have the text here and we have kept a silhouette to give a size perspective of these two uh, objects. And in this variation, we have taken out one of those pieces and called it the missing piece in the puzzle. And this one, we have added some silhouettes showing that various people are collaborating to make the puzzle piece complete. Now here you have your text, you can of course add a label to each of these pieces. Another example is this one, where we have created not just a 2x2 two two matrix, we have created a 3x3 three three matrix using the puzzle pieces and the missing piece is this person and we have, add, we have added this uh, place where you can add the text. And this is a circular puzzle piece, a puzzle diagram and here you have the various pieces fitting together and here you can write your text. And this one is pyramid puzzle where we have created different angles for the various puzzle pieces and you can see how the various pieces are labeled. So as you can see, these diagrams take a lot of time and effort to create from scratch. Most business presenters don't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for themselves and that is the reason why we came up with these PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2. The two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating puzzle pieces in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are tons of useful articles, videos and tutorials to help you improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting!